Good morning. It's Rosalie. Really, we can't wait to plan. How are you guys doing? Okay, so um, I am bringing you a, um, a custom card project share that um, I just finished for a client. She's picking it up in actually a couple of hours. I was hoping to do a process video as I was making the card, but it was such a rush job that I didn't, I, I wasn't even going to be able to finish it on time so I didn't do it um, at all and then at the end after um, I finish it and let her know um, she's actually picking it up a little bit later a few hours later than expected so I'm squeezing this video in just to show to do a project share it's the first time I've ever used this collection although I've had it for a couple of years and um, and also the first time I'm using this particular um, or I'm doing this particular style of card. Um, so I just wanted to share it. Okay, so I'm using um, for the for the card. This is for a wedding card. I am using a, um, a collection called um, a Rustic Wedding from Chris uh, Crafter's Companion. And it is a Sarah signature collection, meaning like she has a lot to do with it or something like that but in any case um, it's beautiful let me do a quick flip through you get three of each and you get 48 sheets so i already kind of ripped it up um but you get this this one right here it's um, and it's just single-sided um it's really really pretty um, kind of rustic looking i actually have if this wasn't if i wasn't going to use this i also have a um a collection that I picked a paper pad that I picked up from Hobby Lobby last year that I think would go really well with this. It's it's not a, it's not Paper Studio. It's actually a different brand, but um, they carry it, and it was called something country. It's really pretty. And the reason I'm I'm doing this at all, most of my wedding cards tend to be a little bit more um, elegant and and so forth. But the the young couple that um, my client friend is is attending is the daughter um the wedding of the daughter of one of her best friends in and they're going to be in new york and the couple sent out an invitation i wish i could show you because it's on the phone so i can't show it to you um but their their invitation is super simple it was like a brick wall with um with um a fuzzy fuzzy images of the twinkling lights against the brick wall so you can tell that they're kind of more rustic or you know shabby chic or that type of thing so i thought this collection or the even the other one would would work well but since i was thinking of using the mr and mrs i remember this collection has a mr and mrs die in it so i wanted to use that so i figured okay i'm gonna use the whole thing so this is paper number two here very nice they, they have burlap, um, images, chicken wire type thing, which I thought was really pretty. And I did use this paper. I'll show you that in a little bit. Chevron, you see that the, the light in their imitation is kind of looking kind of like that. But again, it's a brick wall. I didn't have any really pretty shabby chic brick wall thing because they that my client unfortunately didn't know too much about the couple she knew a lot about the moms um the mom but not about the couple so i i just went um with the invitations to kind of i figure if that's their invitation they would like this type of thing this is really pretty too also some some wood chip ship lap or whatever wood wood thing but it's got some pretty button thing there oh, man i really broke this thing apart didn't i <laughs> okay let me put that down um this is the paper uh, the main paper that i use it looks like this and this one i messed up so and this one was the extra piece so anyway they had three so luckily i use one for, for the things i have the two left and one i messed up this one got some beautiful flowers. Everything is pretty much kind of on wood. This one, I don't know why it's printed upside. I mean, it's oriented in the paper bed upside down. But it just got some nice writing on it or whatever. And then this one got some leaf. This was like the second, the second choice one. But I thought it was just a little bit too busy. This one is real pretty too. Got some lace ribbons against burlap. 
and you know and then they have these things that i kept thinking oh my god it's dirt on it but it's not it's just imperfections in the burlap some more chicken wire thingy it's pretty um rose you know uh, very nice pastel rose images some beautiful wedding um verses i guess since it's upside down i can't even read it on burlap and this is the other paper i use it's um got some roses but some um no this is not the paper i use um what was it no that's not the paper i use i'm sorry um but it's really pretty it got the images of like a <clears throat> wine bottle something label and this one is just like that other one that i use but in this case it's the dark wood this is the one i use for uh, part of the the card again it's kind of upside down I, I don't know why but i flipped it the right side up when i use it so i use one sheet so there's the other two okay so that's rustic wedding um i picked up the small bundle what they when um she has her collections or whatever even the non the non sarah signature collection they offer like a mega bundle and a small bundle and i think this one i bought the smaller bundle but back then they used to do the smaller bundle with the 12 by 12 paper pad they don't do that anymore they make you buy the mega mega bundle if you want the 12 by 12 otherwise you buy the 12 by 12 paper pad separately and they only include the the six by six paper pad now with the smaller bundle but i'm glad i this was an older collection so that's what they used to do and then um they got dyes they got a few other things like wood buttons and things i'm not going to show you the whole collection but because it's old and i don't know if you can get them anymore but i'm sure on ebay and stuff like that but this this is the main they had a two two um sheets of dye that, i mean they didn't come as sheets like this i put it on here but um, this one is the main one I use. This is the main inspiration for the card. And, you know, the couple and underneath nature, basically, the tree. And I use the, the word, there's three words say love, faith, and hope. I use these two. I use the uh, filigree hearts. Um, this one is the Mr. and Mrs. hearts. That's, that's the one I was remembering that I wanted to use. And um, I think that's all I use. But they have these other beautiful other filigree hearts i just didn't love that weird actually it probably will fit this one right it seems like it's the same yeah that would fit this one kind no it doesn't but anyway you can just fussy cut that that out yourself because this is a this is an, an doesn't cut out it just cut in and then if you want the frame but i that's just too fussy don't you think i guess i could cut it cut it like that and then just cut out these little bits this is a cute little tag um some some flaps or whatever you can do like gatefold cards some borders and um some flowers that you can roll up and do stuff to but i didn't do any of that i just used mainly this okay so that's that um i um the paper grab the paper again so you can see it the paper um this is not really it's not really white white so this is a, a regular white um cardstock that i that i have i'm using that for the for the packaging of it but you see how it's it's a little bit creamier and then but i have some more creamy um, cause I wanted to, I wanted to use that lace. So everything else I kind of wanted to match with that. And there's so many shades of white and cream, but it wasn't. And any other cardstock I have was, was more, um, cream, you know, like, uh, more ivory. So luckily I found this, which is, um, it's actually a very fancy, expensive i don't even have the packaging so i don't even know what it is but it's very smooth i mean oh my gosh so smooth and so pretty and really um it's thicker than copy paper and it's it comes you see how it's still kind of ivory but it comes closest without making it so so um awkward looking okay so anyway i um use that to cut out many of the dies so let me show you the um the card i made 
So I made this card right here. And it's the first time I've done this kind of, I can't remember what it's called, um, Crafter Companion have shown this type of card many times in terms of that dome shape thingy. Um, I, I guess it's called dome, right? Um, I've never really done it. You could use it. You could put acetate behind here if you like to. I didn't. I just left it alone. And I just thought it's so pretty and different because I want it, you know, when, when, uh, my client, I make handmade cards that people can purchase just on its own, but I do provide a service of doing custom where I would match it to, I would personalize it, match it, whatever, to the, to the, the, the receiver. And, um, I charge a bit for that, but, um, I, and it's a wedding. So I wanted to make it more substantial. I've never made such a big card. Actually, the card I just made for her, for the same client, last month um was a bar mitzvah card that was um eight and a half by 11 <laughs> or something crazy like that yeah it, it was i think um but it you know it wasn't it was six six by 12. um so anyway this is what eight seven by seven by ten and a half okay so the reason i picked that size is because mainly i was limited by the cardstock which is which which also this image is only like a, a four by four i think i can't remember what's um, it's not a huge it's not a huge square it's not a huge die let me measure it from here for you so you know um yeah it's like a it's a five by five okay it's a five by five um thing so you don't want it too big either otherwise it will look awkward right but anyway um i I wanted to match, I wanted to do something thicker so it will hold up nicely and so forth. Um, and I was limited by, you know, I only have this um, kind of tannish um, cardstock in the 8.5 by 11 size. And so basically that's what this was. Um, so what I did was I took the paper that you saw. What is that? You remember how it was, oops, oh my gosh. Oh, drop everything um remember how it has this strip up here and also at the bottom so i just cut out the the size i want which was see i made a mistake here um whatever that was i think it was what did we say ten and a half and then um and then no what i did was i just fussy cut out both of the layers of the lace um on both sides and then i take the leftover which basically so each of the lace is about one and a half so basically i took out three inches from the 12 by 12 from the 12 inch paper so you only have nine nine left right and so i just put the nine here and then i layer back the fussy cut uh, paper originally i did that because i wanted to to see if i wanted to um uh, lift it up with foam tape but because it is curved I, I just didn't feel comfortable with that it, it's just show too much and so but it's nice because if you feel it it's um you can you can see that it's you know it, it's nicely layer on it's not it's just not flat it has some texture to it okay so I just layered the top part and the bottom part onto um, the leftover card to shrink it down um, then you know, before that, I actually cut the, um, I did use another piece of this and I inlay cut the, the die onto that other, this color card stock. Cause again, this paper is thick, but it's not that thick, you know, so I want it much thicker in order to hold up, um, for a long time. So I, I cut after I made that paper, I in the, I cut in the die in here to match with the die that I cut out of this cardstock. And then I layer, layer them on top of each other, glue them. And um, then I cut a third one out of that, um, that you know, that uh, cardstock that I was talking about, the really fancy smooth cardstock or copy paper, whatever you call it on that and then i lay it on top so there's three layers in here um it's glue it's not perfectly glue it doesn't matter because you know it's kind of nice to be able to see some of the textures of the other 
um, I, I think you can see that, of the other uh, color paper underneath. And then I kind of roll it so that it, I sort of um, roll it against the toilet paper or uh, actually it's um, a, not Kleenex, you know, the, the paper towel, paper towel roll, um, just so that it, it molded a little bit because it is, it is a thicker dye. And um, yeah, so that's the, the, the front so far. Um, then to, um, let me share with you what I did in the back. Um, so I, when I glued this pattern paper onto, oh, and because I only have eight and a half by 11 of this paper, I knew for, for sure that I can only use, I need a, an edge in order to glue it to the back panel. So I left, so eight and a half, I left an, a quarter inch border on both sides of of the front panel so my paper the pattern paper is actually an eight inch pattern paper when you roll it up that's why it became seven but and then i score on right at the edge where the quarter inch edge is and that's how i had the edge to glue it to the back of the back panel okay is that does that make any sense whatsoever i know uh, anyway um so that was kind of fun. And then I cut out a the correct size of the paper I showed you earlier, the one with the wine label bottle, um, because I like the way the way it looked behind it. Um, and I just lay it in inside and glue it and I glue it on top of the fold. Okay, so that way when they look inside they don't see the um the the, the edge that we glue together. And I use I use the strong tape glue to, I figure, you know, the, the other one, the quarter inch one, um, just to make sure it doesn't come up. And then, and um, okay, so that's did the inside. Um, so now to finish the, the, so on the inside, what I wanted to do, when, when I did it with just this and the paper, you can tell that the inside was just so plain. I wasn't planning to do a lot of things on the inside, just a couple of things maybe, but after I put it together, it just seems so bland, uh, plan, does that plain, plain on the inside. So I decided before I talked about how I embellished this, I decided to use the um, filigree heart die and just to cut a piece out of the same paper, this one, to match the colors and everything and just put it on foam dot so it's a little bit uh, raise up just as you look to give it some dimension then I don't know I don't know if you can see it I put the name of the bride and groom just their first name with the heart in the middle and I put the date of their wedding which is November 5th and um, I use the the same paper the leftover because I only use you know seven inches here right I use the the leftover and I just punch out the the heart um, that was Part of this right I just punch out the heart here and then I also punch out another one out of this paper to lay underneath so the the inside one the one with the name on it I just fussy cut just gently you know on the outside just to make it a tiny bit smaller than the white one so that way it just peeked out a little bit um, but there was no dye to to make it smaller I wish I mean, I could cut it out. That's the perfect size for the for for the um, inside heart in here. But then it has all these, you know, misses and misses or whatever. So that's what I did there. And that's give you the personalization um, that a lot of people like. Okay. Um, so in the front, beside gluing the the lace border um, and so forth, I thought about gluing actual lace too, but um, it. I just think this works much better because I don't know, it, it didn't look right to me. Um, beside that, I did two layers of the love dye and one is in the same white paper and the other one is kind of a dark brown just to bring it up because I knew I was gonna, um, I wanted to have a little bit of, of you know, texture. And then I did the same thing with the Mr. and Mrs. It was white. I had the dark brown underneath, but then I also put a layer of, I had these, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, these I had forever. They're, they're kind of like rice paper with wood 
chips and things, you know, lay in it. They, they, they were sold eight and a half by 11. I had it forever. Um, so I just cut a piece. I just thought that gives it that really neat rustic um, features, but also bring interest because otherwise it's just going to be on, you know, a, like a dark brown cardstock. Um, so on the bottom, I, um, I, would need, I wanted to use congratulations and I was thinking of just printing it out, but then I remember I had, um, this, these sentiment dies from some Anna Griffin kits that I have, and I really like it, but I don't want the gold to be, and it's, it is already on 3D foam tape. I didn't like it because the gold is just too much for this, um, for this card. So I just peel it off. You know, it's if you're careful, you can even save the, the bottom too. And as you can see, there's a little bit of glue here. Just take your um, undone or whatever, glue gone, and just wipe it off. Um, it's uh, It will work. Or even just your, what do you call those? Um, the, 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 the glue... Um, eraser that would work as well i've done that many times in the past so now at least I, you have two of them to use right but i really just wanted the congratulations so that's what i did here i put it on foam dots i mean um yeah and i also um because it is curved i actually accent it with um some silicone glue that i use for here i don't know if you have these I know Crafter Companions sell them too, but I just bought these because I knew it was a silicone glue. Um, I just bought this from, I don't know, Michael's or Hobby Lobby a long time ago and it lasts forever because I don't use it that often. But it is really strong glue. It stays wet for a long time, <laughs> so you have to wait. But if you don't smash it down, it will keep it almost like you're making your own little glue dot. Um, it will keep the the height if you like but it is a very strong glue so i use that and i didn't want to pull out my you know what do you call it um glue gun um so i use that for the flowers and a little bit on here too just to make sure it's stuck down really well because foam pads foam dots sometimes doesn't doesn't stay especially um especially when it's curved and then for the flower i bought this um three of this set last year at hobby lobby um for a dollar 24 if you have three so it's not super um cheap but it's good enough and because these paper is made out of linen and it's beautiful it just matched perfectly i thought and i use they have three different ones with different center one is a turquoise one is a rhinestone and one is a pearl and i use two two of the pearls on here um i thought that was just super beautiful okay um, and in the back, beside, you know, make sure you put your label on it if you're doing this stuff. Um, I needed to put a place for my clients to, um, you know, write their sentiment and stuff. So I took the same paper and I just, I, I've been saving frames that I cut out of magazine and different things. Pretty one. Um, so I just size it up, up appropriately and um, I'm going to leave it leave it out so that they can write on it and then they can glue it themselves onto here uh, what i may do is i may go ahead and put in some um that's actually remind me I, i'll put in some tapes already underneath but without peeling up the thing and then so when they're finished writing it they can just stick it on there okay make it simple for them so that's the thing now this is my first time doing it so i did it kind of high i did it all it's almost um what, what is the size on here it's about almost two inches high, right? One and one and three quarter, which I think is a bit high. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment if you think it should be lower. But it, it is a little harder to glue stuff on like this one. I really had to put a bunch of tapes on there to make sure that it stay in the curved shape and, and that it doesn't come undone. Um, and I use all the glue here that I use to, to glue stuff together is the... Um, you know, the one um, glossy accent, okay? Um, but in any case, um, so it was a lot bigger and luckily my client is actually going there to, um, she's she's flying to New York um, actually really soon to, um, to attend the wedding. So um, 
you know, she doesn't have to mail this, but, but I know I still have to come up with some kind of envelope. So what I came up with is, I mean, I have the board from Crafty Companion to do the, um, to do the, um, the box with and everything else, but I didn't even pull it out. I just figured it out quickly in my head. And so I made a box bottom that will fit this. I'm going to put some tissue paper inside put this together and so forth and it stayed there as you can see it's it's perfectly I made the side two inches and um, the bottom I think I did eight by eleven or something like that um, the only problem is uh, the biggest paper I have this is the white one um, is this cardstock is not even that thick but it's thick enough and it's uh, 14 by 17 okay, right let me see is that right no it's not it's 11 11 by 14 so if i did this one was already 11 right so that's 14 that leaves you only three three um inches on both sides to use for both sides to, to use and I wanted to do I needed to do two inches I guess I could do no I couldn't do one and a half because the thing is about one and three quarter thick um I didn't think of that before <laughs> I had to come up with a box so anyway what I did was instead of doing both side one and a half and then have to do I didn't have any issues on on the, the edge on no I'm sorry I didn't have any issues on the side but I had problems with the edge because this is only what is this this is only um 11 and this yeah that's the one i have problem with this one i didn't have problem with i don't know why maybe i didn't do it that long but in any case i had i had plenty two not plenty but i have two inches on both sides for the length but i was short half an inch or so on one inch for this length so i did the box eight inches so that so i did i actually score i use um for some reason, with this, uh, I think this is a We Are Memory Keeper, um, the, the thing that comes with it, the stylus that comes with it, doesn't go into the groove very very well. It is a, a thicker stylus. So I just use one of these um, tools that I have. I don't know what you call these um, thingy. And I just use that to score. So I actually score two inches on one side and then just one inches on the other side. And then the leftover that I have on the bottom, I take, I, I did a two inch or I took another, actually no, I took another piece of paper and I did a two inch panel and I glued on top. I'll show you in, in that in a little bit. So all I did was, was did a score at two inches here, one inches here for the side and then two inches and then two inches. Okay. And then I fold it up, cut, you know how to make a box, cut that and glue it. Okay. And so that's how I made the bottom. And you can see here, I don't know if you can see it, but can you see that I only have one inch on this side? And this is a two inch panel that I glue onto the box. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't look bad. Nobody's going to see it. It's not even done that. Um, it's not even even. <laughs> Shoot, I just saw that. Let me, let me make sure. I cut this a little bit. No, it should be it should be fine. Maybe the other one was was the wrong length. But this this is a definitely a two inch panel. Yeah, I glued correctly. Anyway, so that's that. And then to make the the top, I used one of the paper I showed you earlier with the chevron, and I did the lid with one inch on the side because you don't need it to go two inches. Luckily, no, not even one inch. Like a. Um, three quarter about and that way it just go into and I made the panel a little bit bigger just like a quarter of an inch bigger just so that it can go on the bottom a quarter of an inch is probably even too big um I would do it like the next time I do it I would do it one and a like um one eighth of an inch bigger so that way it's a snugger fit right and then I just layer before I glue all the corners together I just lay it flat and I I put the uh, the paper on top and some of it I had to kind of glue a different panel because I didn't have enough I didn't have the, the paper enough paper but um, any place where it's folded and there's a white I just took an ink, ink pad and um, 
and just use it to edge the edge so that the white doesn't is not stock white you know it's no big deal they everybody know it's going to be handmade it is actually nicer that it is um not perfect okay so that goes there and then um I know that she has to carry this with her, so I was going to make some, put some flowers in there and stuff, but I decided I wanted to do something much simpler so that it's easier for her to stick it in her luggage or her handbag and it doesn't have a lot of things on the top to fall off. So I had, um, I remember that I had this roll of whatever this is called. <laughs> um, so I just cut out a piece. I thought that would give it the real nice rustic look. I have this in my stash forever. It's just a, a beautiful coat on vellum. There is no more lovely, friendly, and charming relationship communion or company than a good marriage. And so I just laid on top, put a little bit of glue on there. You can kind of still see the glue, but it's not bad. I sprayed this with a... Um, with a spray glue to stick the vellum onto this, but to stick this onto the box, I wanna make sure I use a glue that will keep it there and not move it. So I used the silicone glue for then just to do the corner. I didn't, I knew it was gonna leave a mark, so I didn't wanna use it to anywhere else. And then I just take out the faith and use the same paper that I did the back of here the same card stock and it just did the word faith and love i wanted to use hope faith and love but hope sound i don't know it, did, it didn't sound right to me and also i ran out of card stock i didn't want to cut into another one so i did the um um i just did these two words now the, the other the question i have is i found i found this and you know i bought it last year also from um from hobby lobby i thought this was kind of cute and maybe I could add it to where the glue is or whatever, but, uh, or like even here, but I think, you know, I don't know. I'm going to, maybe I leave it and ask my client if she wants me to, um, if she wants me to put it in there because, or maybe she want to put it on herself. I put the, a piece of, um, thing on, oh, what do you call these? Um, saran wrap paper type thing on here so the glue is still there but it's not sticking so maybe we can put it inside the box and she can put it on before she gift it instead of trying to have it survive the trip but i don't know i would have to stick more glue on here so if she like it i may try to just glue it on for her depends on how she's going to be carrying this on the airplane okay so that's what i have that's um i probably should also put a um put a my my info my contact information on there my branding um on the box too but nevertheless that is my um project share i hope you enjoy that it was fun for me to make it was the you know i use um i have a gemini but it broke a long time ago i don't i, I think i'm i pushed too much thickness into it or whatever when I first got it so it never worked right never really worked and I have a Anna Griffin one that I absolutely love but it's for some reason even when I padded more stuff in there the um, Anna Griffin die is thicker so it cut beautifully with the Anna Griffin uh, cutting machine but the the crafter companion is a little bit thinner so I put the metal plate i put different things but these things was not cutting well i have to sit there with an exacto knife and punch it out it was kind of annoying actually so this took a lot longer <laughs> to to make than i had expected but nevertheless it's my first time right so that's you can't expect too much but that is all for me i hope to see you very um in the near future and um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for all those those of you who have subscribed and have stayed loyal with me through um, through my craft room organization project. I know I've kind of been missing in action a little bit. I'm coming back now and trying to get one to two videos out a week, but I'm still working on, on my craft room. And um, I do have a goal. I wanted to ask you for a favor if you can. I I would like to, do, to um, get a thousand get to a thousand subscriber by the end of the year because my birthday month is december and um then i can do a, a hop and a giveaway for my birthday as well as my thousand subscriber 
uh, milestones so if you have not subscribed or if you um, think you have a friend that may enjoy my channel please forward my information and subscribe uh, you know so that they can see and maybe they will subscribe thank you so much again for joining me and i will see you real soon bye